and I'll say this again, China started this. But now it's on the back foot. To cover the upsets, it is spreading more lies. Fake videos are going viral in China. We accessed one of them. It shows Chinese troops pushing back Indian soldiers. It's fake and unrelated. But here's something that's relevant and should interest China. This is an insider account of the PLA. Horror stories of what the government makes them do. Execute Chinese citizens, shoot Tibetan monks, and leave older people to die in rescue missions. It's a chilling tale. Take a look. This video is going viral on the Chinese internet. It supposedly shows Chinese soldiers fighting Indian troops with hands and fists. It was released this week after the most recent border face-off. It's spreading like wildfire online. But when was it shot? Is it even linked to the Ladakh standoff? According to this report, the video is much older. So why has China leaked it now? To paint India as the aggressor and the Chinese soldiers as the victims. The truth is quite the opposite. A new report details insider accounts from the PLA. What it reveals is quite stunning and shows the Chinese army as the opposite of victims. Bitter Winter is a website run by an American NGO. It has interviewed a Chinese veteran. He describes in chilling detail how Chinese soldiers are deployed to execute the state's agenda of oppression. There are multiple stories. In the first one, the soldier describes a mission, a killing operation where more than 100 Muslims were executed by the PLA. Drones were used to spot the Uyghur Muslims and the soldiers opened fire on innocents with their Chinese assault rifles. The Chinese soldier, whose name remains hidden, describes the circumstances that led to this operation. It was supposed to be a military exercise, but the soldiers were asked to kill Chinese citizens. The veteran says it was a nightmare that he wants to forget. Here's another story. A soldier from the eastern province of Shandong was allegedly sent to Tibet to suppress monks in 2011. The orders were clear. Surround the area where the monks were hiding and shoot. He says those who killed the most monks were awarded prizes. The soldiers had no choice. They were threatened with punishment if they refused to go. Third story, the 2008 earthquake. Sichuan was struck by a massive quake. The PLA was called in. The rescue mission had a deadly strategy. The soldiers were told not to rescue minors and seniors. Why? Because the Chinese state felt that they would be a burden for the government. Here is how the veteran describes the events of 2008. Only people between 18 and 40 were to be rescued. We didn't even check if people who lay still were dead or alive. We just piled them on trucks. Even those who were alive stopped breathing under the weight of so many bodies. These are just three stories. But they sum up how Beijing uses its army as a killing machine, often on its own people. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.